I think one of the biggest challenges to make insomnia work as a sleep aid is to almost take out the drama of it. We actually made the tracker because I was not getting any sleep. My body clock was all over the place. And I walked into the studio and I said, right, we're going to do a track and it's going to be called Insomnia because I can't get no sleep. I can't get no sleep. Said to Maxi, look, we've done a song. We definitely want the title to be Insomnia because Blissy can't get no sleep. He really took it to a whole nother level. You know, that, that sense of torment and inner wrestling with your demons, which is what can often happen late at night. People absolutely love those lyrics and connect them because I think maybe everybody has problems sleeping. You know, we live in a modern world, there's so many distractions, we're on our screens all the time. So it seems to have maintained its relevance all these years. What was really interesting for us to embark on this brand partnership with Oto, who are CBD brands, was the fact that they wanted us to reimagine insomnia for a completely different context. So something that you can actually fall asleep to. 55% of us would class themselves as a bad sleeper. I go around the country talking to people who don't sleep well, and CBD comes up all the time. It helps reduce cortisol levels. It helps us feel relaxed. I can't get no sleep. How do you start sort of like deconstructing it and making it more geared towards a good night's sleep? It was about tempo because club music operates with a certain beats per minute and this has a completely different use, a completely different context. So taking the tempo right down, part of my thinking was to make it orchestral. My musical partner, Rollo, he was very adamant. He goes, no, 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 you know, be brave, be confident in the chords. You know, once we get the mix of the real musicians playing it, I've designed the track on a keyboard using samples of string players and samples of oboes and clarinets, but it will never have the kind of nuance and, and dynamics that you can get with musicians playing. And I just love how chords, if you just space them out, they just hang in the air. Space. I need to get some sleep. So really it's keeping that element of, of mysterious musicality, but without making it banging. So it kind of moves sonically all across different frequencies, which I think could be really interesting as a sleep aid, how your, how your brain will tune in to where the music's going. What we've tried to create by bringing together the sounds of the track and also CBD is that it, it allows you to drop your heart rate. And when you come out of that sleep cycle, hopefully you'll then drift off back into sleep. I am the generation who, who have good memories of, of, of this song. Sleep is so emotional and, and those positive memories drop the heart rate, create this emotional security that then can help us feel better in terms of our sleep. My experience with sleep has been, it's been a really difficult relationship. I thought all the years in the disco would give me good prep for that, but actually, no. Having a child is a completely different experience and nothing prepares you for the exhaustion and the sleeplessness and the impact on everything. Now, as I move into the third age, being menopausal, it is something that I think needs a lot more airtime, how women actually feel in this period. I've had very broken sleep for the last few years, and I've been addressing it with all sorts of different things, and I think CBD is a really important part of that arsenal. I need to get some sleep. Sound is really interesting when it comes to sleep. Our hearing is the sense that switches off last when we're falling asleep and switches on first as we're waking up. We have brought together CBD and sound to talk about creating healthy pre-sleep routines. It calms the nervous system, it helps us feel more relaxed, and it's saying to the body, when we do this thing, it's now start to getting ready for bed. I think we really want the listener to be able to absolutely drift off. So I hope that there's a meditative element to it, the way that we've done the arrangement. It's quite slow, it, it unfolds, and also repeating quite a lot. And of course, when you get to the riff section, that's also a part that obviously people will recognise, and we're extending to 27 minutes, so it becomes a really experiential process for people. They can just let the music wash over them. 